thank you for joining me today with Stamping and Crafting with Loretta. Today I have a project share from a swap and I also have um, a haul from the Stamps of Life, Stephanie Bernard's company. Um, her dies and are made by Sizzix. I'm not sure if Sizzix also manufactures the stamps or not, but they do coordinate, so my bet is probably yes. Um, some of these are from her online store and some of these are from the local Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to show those to you. Um, you will see a duplicate in here, it is intentional. First we have this die set and this is the tops to the ornaments, I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera. This is the snowman die with his accessories, he is a duplicate. This is the newest in the Owl family die. He also has a stamp set. The snowman does too. You'll see that in a minute. This says uh, celebrate and it is a nesting die. Here are some of the ornaments. With their toppers. Here are some more of the ornaments. My receipt. Um, if you spend over a certain amount or you get a certain amount of stamps, they send you these storage sheets for your stamps, which is really nice. Here are the ornament stamps themselves, the snowman stamp that goes with those dies, some snowflake stamps which I adore, um, the snowman soup stamp set which is just so stinking cute. Um, I'm looking forward to using him. I do do a lot of snowman soup in the winter time. Um, I try to make a few up and just have them under the Christmas tree so if someone stops by I have a quick little gift. Here are the owls that go with those dies I showed you earlier. She always sends an idea card. Um, it is a printed on glossy card stock. It's about 4 by 6 which makes it a nice size to save. Here's a duplicate of that snowman die. More Christmas ornaments. Now, um, most of the ones that you're about to see actually came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, they had a 50 40 or 50 percent off sale a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting to the point where I could put these up so I plan to do that today I hope and shoot a video response to Sybil's uh, paper chase video um, challenge um, that might actually be harder to do than I think but we'll see so this one is a Christmas ornament um, excuse me Christmas gift tag set with the matching dies which is completely awesome. This one is a teapot set. Um, this one I actually just got in my stack. It needs to be put away. This is a um, nesting hello die with the uh, torn notebook page um, die as well. And here's the duplicate of the snowman stamp. Uh, set that I bought. Now I'm going to show you what I finally got in the mail. This is from Maya and she's part of the online group uh, Creating the Crafty Life. We did a um, Halloween tag swap. You guys watch my channel and um, there is a uh, video on how I made the tag I sent to her and um, this is what she sent to me. It's really cute. Um, she sent me a card. Oh, I have it upside down. Okay, sorry about that. She sent me this really cute card. Aww. I thought maybe she'd written a note, but she didn't. And um, here is her information. Let's zoom in so you can see that. We're getting quite a bit of glare today. Um, I will put her information uh, down below in the video or in the description box um, so that you can uh, have it for your own. It is the Peony Papery and uh, she did a fantastic job with the card and with the tag. It's a long skinny tag. Um, she's got it cut out of uh, looks like a medium weight black chipboard. She could have also painted that before she layered it. That's kind of just my guess. Hold on and we'll 
zoom you back out here so you can see. All right. She used the Graphic 45 Once Upon a Time paper for this. She sponged the edges. Um, it looks like that she probably cut these pieces with her circle punches and then layered that enamel dot over the top. Um, this one actually slipped out of place. It's probably because of um, the way it was handled. The post office sat on this for more than a week. Um, they kept telling me it wasn't there and then Maya contacted them and suddenly they found it. So I have no earthly idea. Um, I'm going to see if I can shift this, but I'm not sure what kind of adhesive they use. No, it's not going to shift. It's going to stay where it is. It's very pretty. Um, she put a decorative clothespin here. Hiding underneath the lace is a cute little owl and a stick pin. That's just beautiful. She has that stuck into the uh, lace here on the side. This lace is um, garment lace because it is stretchy. It actually has elastic some flowers and then on the top she has this cute little stack of books which looks like it's a dimensional sticker perhaps the raven and she tied the top with just some pretty ribbon her information is on a card on the back and she finished the back with that same graphic 45 paper stack so I hope that uh, you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please thumbs up if you haven't already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I always look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Stay happy. Be a blessing. Take care. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.